everyone, welcome back to the Beamy Bunker. Today we're continuing our 31 Days of Horror with a look at the 2013 film Witching and Pitching, brought to us by Alex de la Iglesia, who also brought us Last Circus. Um, what we have is the story of Jose, uh, played by Hugo Silva. Uh, Jose is uh, just a father that wants to spend time with his son, and, and he hates his ex-wife. Um, so he decides to, you know, get some bonding time and to get time with his son. He decides to knock over a pawn shop and steal a bunch of gold rings that the pawn shop is always taking in. Uh, he has a couple of compatriots that he does this with, including his young son, uh, Sergio. And, of course, things get botched in this horror comedy as nothing goes according to plan, and while fleeing from police, they end up in a town full of witches. This movie was fun. It it's not a great movie. It's not as good as Iglesias' uh, other film, uh, Last Circus, but it was still a fun movie. I enjoyed it. Um, at times, it is kind of, it seems almost aimless at times, um, but not to a point where, where the movie loses all sense. Um, I like the I like Hugo Silva's portrayal of Jose. I like the characters in general in this. I mean, there's things that make a lot of people unlikable but not to the point where you hate them and that's on both sides both with the with the you know Jose and his band of little robbers his ex-wife who's probably the least likable character in it and and I, I criticize her the writing of her character a little bit um, this movie is a little heavy-handed in the what the fuck do women want they're all crazy it's a little heavy-handed in that regards but I think it also pokes fun at the guys who are kind of like, oh, these women, I just can't, you know, can't live with them, and if you live, if, and they try to eat you. Um, as far as everything else goes, I mean, it's a good blend. It can be a little silly at times, but that's it. It starts out that way, so the fact that it gets sillier later on as well just fits fine. There's actually some really good effect work in this movie as well, as well as a very good soundtrack. I love the music for this film. Uh, scale of one to ten, this is kind of. Uh, Dusk Till Dawn, but with witches. Um, particularly uh, Carolina Bang, who was also in Last Circus, um, playing the, uh, basically, instead of Selma Hayek, you get Carolina Bang. Um, and just a good, you know, as I said, mix of horror and comedy. I, I had fun the whole film. I was enjoying it. Um, there's a fair amount of, not tons of over-the-top gore, but there is some gore effects um, although it's done mostly in a more comical way, um, as far as as far as that goes, um, and as I said, uh, some very good acting from uh, pretty much everyone involved in this. I think uh, does a very good job acting this one out. This is a Spanish film, so it is subtitled. So if you don't understand Spanish, uh, you will have to read. Sorry about that, but I don't think that uh, really takes you out of the film at all. If you are the least bit competent of a human being when it comes to things like reading words. Um, so as I said, overall, pretty decent film, a lot of fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, not a fantastic film, but, you know, good enough that I think it, it warrants watching, and I will probably watch this one again at some point, if for nothing else, just, uh, just to see Carolina Bang again. Can I say, I, you know, I like looking at pretty women, um, as long as I have some talent to back it up, and I think she does, though her character is written... <sighs> very much as eye candy but I think that she has some acting chops that I would like to see uh, her in a broader role, I guess, for lack of a better term. But that's all I've got for this one. Till next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.